Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video and it's going to be a video of showing my train cases and I do want to apologize for this hair up here. They are my mannequins for cosmetology so I do have them just hanging here because I haven't taken them to school because I haven't had classes because of this quarantine thing. Anyway, a train case tour <laughs> because I am mobile when it comes to nail appointments. Um, I don't have my clients come to my house. This is what I take to every single nail appointment that I do get. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get right to it. Okay, so this is where I keep all of my things packed up. Um, this is what I also take to my clients' houses. It is kind of a lot of things and they're kind of <laughs> really difficult to carry around. We make it work every single time. So the first bag here is a duffel bag. I got this specifically because um, I just couldn't fit the things that I have in here into my train cases anymore. It's just getting really jammed in my train cases. So I decided to go with the duffel bag option so that I don't have to be carrying like a bunch of like train cases. So one of my train cases I got from school. I am in cosmetology school so um, it was a part of my kit but then recently I decided to purchase another one because I was completely running out of space in this one and I found the exact same one on Amazon so I was happy because I like to keep things like correlating <laughs> as much as I possibly can. So anyways, I'm going to just begin with the duffel bag first. So when you open up this compartment here, I have my UV light and this is the Lux Up UV light I got on Amazon. I absolutely love this UV light. I will try to link everything that I got on Amazon, which is probably going to be like everything <laughs> down below. So go down to the description and check it out. This little pouch right here has the top part of my drill stored in here because I don't like to just have it like laying around and I always keep my mandrill bit on here at all times. I would recommend you keeping a bit in your drill at all times. You don't want to risk having like any like dust or any of that pile into the drill so this is the Melody Susie Scarlet drill. I got this on Amazon as well and I absolutely love it. I want to say it's around like $65 to $70 um, which is pretty good price for the quality that it is because I know some drills that go up to like $300 so I think this is a pretty good drill and I would highly recommend. And then I do have this um, armrest here that I've been playing around with. Um, I made this armrest. I made it because I want to be able to switch out the covers and like the prints and stuff regularly. I do sew so I do like to make little handmade things when I can and then inside is just like this like tube full of like cotton but I like made it with this mesh thing. But I liked how this turned out because I add some velcro to the end so that I can switch out the prints on the outside whenever I make a new cover. But this is the cover that I have currently and I think it's pretty cute. And then I have the bottom portion of my the drill. So this is what it looks like. I did recently erase some of the numbering on here and it was like the biggest annoyance ever because I have little pet peeves where like things just need to look like perfect. <laughs> Not perfect, but like, you know, how they looked when you first got them. But I freaking erased the little numbering on that part and I was like so annoyed, but it still works perfectly fine. So like it should not be that big of an issue, but I'm just annoying like that. But I really, really like this because it does have some compartments for the bits whenever you're done using them or whenever you're just using multiple, you could lighten them up right there and then you just switch the knob on and off button. And then the back of it has the insert to power on the drill. And then right here is to power on the hand portion of the drill. And then this is for the uh, foot pedal that it also comes with but I don't use the foot pedal and then this is the forward and reverse switch button okay and then I also have this little mini fan here either to dry sometimes acrylic will like take longer than I want it to take to dry so then I like turn on the fan or um, I also use it to dry nail polish which I don't really use often but I don't know I just like to think that I have it with me so i have it <laughs> i just think it could be useful one day so i carry it with me and then this is the light that i use and i absolutely love this because it is so like easily stored it's so compact and little but it works so nicely it is extremely bright it's an led light that um, my dad actually gave me for christmas this past christmas and yeah i love it because you can just fold it up and put it away 
and it just comes in handy. And then the next thing is my extension that I carry with me. It's pretty long. I want to say this is probably like four feet long, like the cable, and then it has multiple um, imports. And this is important because the connectors to all of my tools which i'll show you right now are really they're like the box ones so you need to have like a lot of them so that they'll all fit and they do so yeah this is the one that i use which was just one that my dad had laying around and i just took it <laughs> and then the last thing i have in this big compartment is my dust collector and i did diy the decor on this one this actually used to be just a pink like a light pink one but um, I don't know I just liked the red look and I liked this flower design on them too so I did paint it and then I put this um, it's like a vinyl wrap so I covered the sides I just liked how it looks I think it's super cute so I did DIY that but that that's my my dust collector that my dad also got for me for Christmas last year so I've been using that Okay, and then on the left side of the duffel bag, it comes with one compartment here, another one here, and then one in the front. The front one, I usually just keep my phone and my wallet in because I don't want to carry around a purse because then it's just one more thing to be carrying around and like this is hard enough to carry around as it is. So yeah, on this left compartment, I keep the towels that I use to wipe off my acrylic with. And these were actually gifted to me by one of my cosmetology friends, Kayla, her mom. I did her nails one time and her mom um, recommended these and I absolutely love them, but I cannot find these anywhere. And I'm like, girl, she said she got them at a 99 cent store, but I have been there since and I just can't find them but I'm still on the lookout for them. And then I also keep a towel because I like to set this underneath this. And then I do have this mini little dust pan because um, if there's like dust on the table or if there's dust like on the chair, I always like to sweep it up before I leave just cause I don't like to like leave a humongous mess afterwards because I just feel bad. So I did buy this at the 99 cent store. You guys can find that there, it's super cute. I did find another one actually. I'm sure you guys saw this in my recent nail haul video. I did buy this at the Dollar Tree actually and I was planning on using it. This is a lot smaller than this one. Um, well, not that much, a lot smaller, but like it is smaller, but I just, I like the colors of this one better, but I still have this one for backup, but I don't know. I just like the bristles of this one better. And then these are like kind of just like rougher. I don't know. Just, I keep that, um, just there though, just in case, you know, I do use it. And then on this side, I keep the, all of the cords that I have to all my tools and I have them all labeled. I have the drill cable. Cause some of these look the same, like literally these two looks so like so i was like i'm gonna get that confused and then i have my uv light cable and then my fan the dust collector and then this is the led light one and then i just have my foot pedal in here this is the foot pedal that comes with the drill i haven't ever used this ever literally since i opened the drill i've never tried using it i just feel like it would be a lot harder for some reason to control it with my foot um i'm gonna be testing out soon though see how that if i like it or not but as of now i just don't use it but yeah that is what is in the duffel bag i as you can tell i keep my bigger tools in here because they just were taking up too much spaces in my duffel in my train cases so i decided to go with the duffel bag because it is easier to carry around so that's what's in there and then we have the both of the train cases so here i have art labeled on one of them so this is the one that i keep all my art stuff in and then this is the one that i keep my acrylic powders my monomers and things like that so open up this one and on the top i just have my cuticle oil this is a sally hansen one um you can get this like a target they work really this one works really really nicely though i'm gonna end up buying a new one soon and then I have my dehydrator and nail bond primer from Me Secret. These are the only ones that I've used and I love them. And then this is just a nail strengthener top coat that I use on my nails sometimes when I literally like this because I just took off my acrylics. So when they're like a little lumpy, I'll use this one to make the structure a little stiffer. And then I have just three little bottles of glue. I've used this one before. This is one that I got from... Uh, from Cosmoprof, if you guys have access to Cosmoprof, um, it is like a licensed professional store. But this is the glue that I like is my go-to glue. It's the nail lean one that 
Um, I got this on Amazon. I love this nail glue. Works great. And then I have a acrylic that I made, which is like the mixture of clear and white that makes that like frosty shade of acrylic. And then all of these containers here are ones that I made myself, the acrylic colors that I made myself. Um, I'm still trying to perfect them, so I don't really use them on clients currently but they are colors that I'm working on and trying to perfect like the consistency of them and stuff but yeah the containers I bought and like everything I still have so many of them which are going to be showing in my future nail haul video um and then in here just have another little acrylic powder and then these are my Mia Secret nude ones um, that I'm going to be buying full sizes of eventually, but yeah, you can get these on Amazon as well. Another acrylic that I was just messing around with. And then I have my Mia Secret color acrylic collections that you can get also on Amazon. I love these. These are super nice. Some of the colors are a little weird and splotchy, but for the most part, I do like them. And then these are just, um, some top coats, base coats, and activator for dip powder which is this right here but i don't really use dip powder but i just have it in here just in case and then in the middle compartment here i keep this little box where i keep all of my brushes i have my art brushes in here and then my acrylic brushes that i use um and then just some dotting tools and i just keep them in this little container and then um i also have all of my tips here i have clear stiletto ones natural stiletto ones and then Oh, just drop some. <laughs> and then I have these clear ones that are the squared. I love this brand of nails. They're super good. And then I have these same ones, but in natural. And these I think are, yeah, these are a little tapered in to make it easier to make coffin shapes to save time. And then I have just some plain white ones. And then another natural set of nails that I actually like this brand as well, but they're the squared ones. The squared off ones so and then back here behind the tips i have all of my acrylic powders i have my mia secret white my mia secret clear and then a new mia secret clear a new container of it because i use that one the most and then i have a bigger version of the cover pink acrylic i do need to get the um, beige version of this one though because i really like the beige version one and then in this little compartment here i keep my alcohol pump which i just keep alcohol to sometimes i'll clean off the nails with it when they're like dusty and then my acetone for soak offs and then i have my monomer cup which is a shot glass <laughs> because I just like the shape of this one a lot better than other monomer containers. I have my Mia Secret liquid monomer, my eight fluid ounce bottle in here, just because it's easier to carry around. So yeah. And then when you take off the top compartment, there's the bottom, there's the bottom compartment here of the train case. And here I have my, I just like to keep foils in here um, because they're just a lot easier to see. I used to have them in a little container, but this just has been the best option for me because I am mobile. I know some people do put them away in like little compartments with containers in them, but um, for me, like traveling everywhere, this is like nice and compact. So I liked to use that. And I did put the vinyl wrap on this cover too because I liked to just, I like for things just to match. So the same thing I did with my gel. Um, color samples for all the samples that I have for all of the gel colors that I have currently and then I have this little container that actually comes out and in here I have the fabric that I use for my backgrounds for my pictures this will usually change because I have loads of fabric because I do sew, so I do have like loads of variety to choose from but these two are the ones they're full of lint <laughs> like that furry one leaves lint everywhere but i do just keep um the black suede one in here and my black fuzzy one or my white fuzzy one because that's just the ones that are just going to go the most with all of the nail designs that i have but sometimes i will put in like a red one or like a printed one just to change up the backgrounds and then on the side here is where i keep my files these are the files that i currently use which are the brand Cuchillo, I think is what it's called, but I get them at Cosmoprof. And they're the six layer peel off files, which is why I love them because I can just use them on a client and then peel off the sides and then you have a brand new one. So I always keep the file like this and then peel a new one whenever I'm working on a client. So that is the type of file that I use. And then down here is the biggest compartment of the train case, which these sides can come off or pull down so that it's like easier access. Um, I have a 
table placemat here, which I actually have a couple of because I like to use them for placemats when I'm like working on clients' tables. Again, I don't want, I try to avoid as much as possible to ruin their table. So this is the big container that I have down here, which holds all of my tools. So I have labeled some of the little drawers. These top four little ones up here are empty. I just don't have anything to put them in. And then to put in there yet and then in here i just have extra rhinestones that i haven't been able to sort out into my little containers an empty one and then here and then here i keep my sanding bands my new ones and then i keep cotton here i keep my nail buffers these are all like these are all like tiny buffers and then i keep all of my nail drill bits in here i do have quite a lot that i've actually accumulated um in the past few months. I didn't realize I had this, this many until I was looking at my things the other day. So I do have quite a few, but I use all of these um, for just different reasons. If you guys wanna see an in-depth video on different drill bits, because I have learned so much in these past couple of weeks. Um, I've been doing so, many re so much research on them. So if you want a video just based on different nail bits, leave me a comment down below and I would love to film that for you. And then here I just have some metal implements. I have my um, X-Acto knife that I keep for cutouts in acrylics. I keep my cuticle pushers. I keep nippers in here. And nippers I don't really use for cuticles. Um, once in a while I will, but for the most part I use these to take off rhinestones on the nails. I just have a pair of tweezers in here. Um, my straight edge nail clippers that I absolutely love. And then regular nail clippers. And then these are just, and then this pack, this little pocket here keeps my really itty bitty sharp cuticle nippers. And then in here I keep my nail brushes, duster offers, <laughs> and then my nail tip cutter right here. All right, and then next is my second train cage, which is what I keep my nail decor on there, my polish, my rhinestones, all of that. So up here I keep all my gel polishes. These are the ones that I've just gotten on Amazon for the past couple of months, but um, I'm gonna stop buying these now because I'm gonna be starting to buy full-size gels. Um, I am getting more clients and these are gonna be running out on me super quick because they're really, really small. They're like barely anything, but these are very, very pretty colors from Beatles, so. Um, so yeah, I do have those. And then I have some from model ones, which to can be completely honest with you, don't really like these. They're extremely, extremely chunky and like thick. I'm gonna be trying to just use these up as much as I can. Um, and then begin to slowly um, put in like D&D &D brand, like things like that, like bigger bottled gel polishes. But for now, this is what I'm using. And then back here, I have some gel Len brand polishes which are pretty good i have a pack of six and then these are all model ones these are all beetle brand and then this one is born pretty which is pre these i actually born pretty which i actually am really really happy with, um with the consistency of these specific bottles i wish they had bigger versions of them but i don't think they do and then here is a um brush on gel resin i know a lot of people love this um glue but this has completely dried out on me i feel like because i can't open the cap i'm gonna try to apply it open and if the product is still you know not dried inside then i will continue to use it i have used it before and it works pretty well but the cap is just glued on shut so i'm gonna have to like ply it open so i just keep that there and then over here are just my top coats base coats and matte top coats and these are the beetle ones and then the model ones top coats and i absolutely love the model ones top coats and the the beetle the beetle ones are actually pretty good as well so i would recommend that if you guys are looking for amazon brand ones and then you open it up and then i have some mccart rhinestone glue absolutely love this glue so much i've liked this one a lot better than the muse secret um glue really really like it it, it comes in a tube like this you can also get the one that comes in the little container as well and i love them super good and this is where i keep my rhinestone picker upper is what i call it <laughs> but yeah it's just like the wax pen and this is very useful keep that in here and then i also have my mccart nail foil glue love this glue so much again mccart you cannot go wrong with they just have great products i have two of those in there and then over here I have my regular polishes. These are the only four regular polishes that I'm 
that I am up to using. I don't like using regular polishes because I hate waiting for them to dry, especially if they need multiple coats. It's just a pain in the butt. But these four polishes that I have here are beautiful, beautiful colors. This is definitely one of my favorite polishes that I own. It's the China Glaze in the color Beach Cruiser. Love it. The, the final, like the finish of this is like a matte pink finish and it's like the prettiest shade ever and it dries super quick and I keep a safety pin on it so it's easier to pick up <laughs> but yeah I just keep my little oh it's about to fall out my little rhinestone magnet here with the little stands on here and I these are just to use for nail art so that you can prop the nail while you're working on it and then just a random little ziploc bag extra storage and then in the middle compartment here I keep all of my rhinestones and things that you can encapsulate basically here are some nail plates and to be completely honest i don't know if you're supposed to use a specific polish for stamping plates let me know in the comments below if you are supposed to sorry but i use just gel polish with them and they did not work whatsoever and i was so sad about them because i do have a couple that i haven't even well most of them i haven't even used because to be completely honest with you i only tried them out once and it didn't work out at all so i was like no like this sucks but i keep them just in case <laughs> there's a different option to use them with because and then i also and then i also have these small ones here and they're from the brand born pretty which is why i like really thought they were gonna work because their gel polishes work amazing so i was like maybe these are gonna be great too but unfortunately they let me down but again i might just be using them wrong i just use them with regular gel polish and again these aren't the best either so i'm gonna give them another try soon let me go and let me know if the comments below if you're supposed to use it in a specific way i also do have the stamper here from born pretty so yeah i just keep them in here you know just in case one day and then i also have a couple of these compartments here that have some little sheer foils i absolutely love these to to encapsulate nails with they're super pretty then i also have these as well got these containers from walmart oh and then also down here i just saw it I'm just bumping into things it's also the born pretty scraper for the stamp and then i also have another container full of this like chunky glitter material which was in my last nail haul as well and then i have one empty one just for extra storage and then back here i have my little spinning containers of rhinestones and i just turned the flash on so that you could so that you could see how like sparkly these are they're super cute Ooh, jeez louise guys anyways like look they're spilling all over the place because i just dropped it ugh what a struggle on the side just a kid to keep spilling but it's how sparkly these are they're so pretty but yeah i just keep them in here and then i have some red ones and gold ones and then the ones that are like super colorful and these are all glass rhinestones so that's why they shine very well i recommend glass stones swarovski if you can um, afford them but swarovski can be really expensive so glass glass rhinestones work really well i've been using them for a while i also have just some extra compartments in there for other ones that i have to organize still and then i also have these compartments here full of more rhinestones but in different shapes love these they're super shiny and i guess they're just they're just glass rhinestones and then these as well super cute and then these colorful ones and then i have two of the containers for my dried flowers love these as well i love encapsulating flowers and then i have another container full of my little butterflies and then the last couple things down there the colorful little foils love these as well and then the regular foils and then these are all my chrome powders that i have super pretty love that this is where i lean all my brushes in um just so that they're not like laying down on the table i just put them in there and i have a little glass plate as well to um, mix gel colors or nail or acrylic paints on here and i also have this one as well that is a little stained <laughs> but i do use this one as well so i do keep all of these in there and then back here i just have a bunch of these glitter packs that were in my last nail haul video I haven't stored them away yet but it will be soon and then that little container here is full of like little heart confettis 
but that was a fail i have to throw those out actually because or like give them to my little sister or something because they were an ultimate fail um the color or the paint or whatever the tint on those little hearts aiding like tinting the acrylic like the color just like i don't know it was super weird they kind of just the paint just fell off of the confetti and it was just like a big mess so yeah i have to throw those out but i thought i was able to like encapsulate them but it didn't work out so yeah that's the top portion of the second this container is just like the other one but here i just keep a bunch of random things these i'm going to be taking out soon actually i should probably take them out actually because um i don't use them at nail appointments so i don't really need them to be in here i need to limit as much clutter as i can inside of these because they get really heavy but these were in one of my recent nail haul videos as well and i was gonna put nail acrylic colors that i make myself in here but they just but i really preferred the other ones that i showed you in the beginning um the silver capped ones because these are a little too big we'll see what i end up using them for but i don't really need them in here because they're not client used so yeah, and then in here, I just shadow applicators that I use for my chrome, and then I have white acrylic paint. I have this acrylic paint, which is like so freaking pretty, and I actually tested it out to see if I can encapsulate it in a nail, and I totally could, and it was like the prettiest outcome ever. So I'm happy with that. And then I just have some of the little beads in here that I'll be putting over here, and then again, some charms and i'm going to be putting them in this little container which is why i have them in here i just haven't put them in there yet but i have some little stars in there currently and i'm going to be putting these in this container and then here i still have acrylic powder in there oh my god a little um teaspoon for when i make acrylic colors which again shouldn't be in here and here i have from these are some swatches for all the acrylic powder colors that i have which i've made myself and i mean for the most part i think they're pretty cute but i still want to just perfect them i don't know i'm just a perfectionist and i'm not completely 100 percent happy with them so um i haven't been using them on clients recently but i will eventually but yeah i have them in here again i'm gonna take these out as well because i don't need them for client appointments these are my um containers that i use to make my own acrylic and then i have um again shouldn't be in here i use these tips to do nail art on but I just keep them in here because it's nail stuff, it's nail related. And then I have some extras of the wooden rhinestone picker uppers, the wax pencils. Um, and then I have some extra swatches, swatch nails that go into my gel book. Okay, and then down here I have another one of these containers as well. I got these at Walmart. And these aren't labeled because I feel like they're gonna be, the things in here are gonna be switching constantly because they are like glitters and um you'll see but yeah so that's why i don't have them labeled and here i have these little um confetti like spaghetti <laughs> confetti spaghetti what they're like little strands of like glitters and i think these look super cute encapsulated do have to switch out the containers that they're in though because they're not that like like when you pop this out a bunch of them fall out so i want to switch them out and then in here i have some caviar beads and then I have all of my little fruit chunks in here. Super cute, love these. Again, to, to encapsulate and stuff. Um, never actually used them on a client, but I have used them to practice on nails and I think they're really cute. And then in here, I just have some extra of those little nail things that you put in the nail gel book, but they broke off, so I just keep those in there. And then glitters, I just have so many glitters, guys, like endless amounts. Best, specifically these i love these super cute i do want to make my own glitter mixes but it's hard because i don't want to dump them all into the glitter mixes because i also love doing makeup and i feel like these and makeup looks would also look super freaking pretty so i just i'm gonna have to order another pack i guess specifically for makeup because these are too cute to not use for glitter mixes and acrylics so yeah and then these are all fine glitters, like just non-chunky ones. A bunch of fine ones that again would be really nicely mixed with these or even separately. And then here I just have all of my striping tapes. Never actually used striping tapes either on a client, but you never know. And then in this last one, I have all of my metal um, little, what are these called? Like charm things 
they're super cute and again these were in my last haul as well so go check those out and then the last two things in here are my chalk pastels which i make my acrylic colors with and again made a video on that and then my acrylic paints which i do nail art with so that was all of the things that i had in my train cases guys this i'm gonna take it out because i don't need that in my case again so yeah all right guys that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys had fun looking at all my things in my train case on the products that i use um everything works out fine for me i do have some more things coming in the mail and i am waiting for the aliexpress order to finally all come in they've been slowly coming in small envelopes by small envelopes and i'm just like can you guys all come in at the same time already please like ugh. I'm getting really impatient but every time I do receive something it's like super fun to open so it's exciting every single day because I get like one package every single day so yeah anyways that is the end of the video I love that you guys have been giving me so much support you guys don't know how much it means to me like it means the world I just hit 300 subscribers and I cannot believe it like it's just insane to me that so many people are interested in watching my video not thank you guys enough I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and if you guys do want me to film a specific video please leave it in the comments below guys please i would love to give you guys videos that you guys want to see as well yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already like the video it really helps me out comment down below i love talking to you guys until next time